What I'm showing you now is how to nudge things a little bit, how to move things by a certain bar and, and how to really recognize the grid and how to, how to line things up. So if I have this, this part right here, it's on, a, it's on a certain bar right now. It's on the halfway, it's between the sixth and the seventh bar. Now if I take this, I want to maybe nudge it just a little bit. Maybe I want to nudge just the 16th note over. What I can do is change my grid to the 16th note and nudge it, just one 16th note. I can, do it, I can bring it back and do that to any amount I want. I can also change it by, not just by bars and beats, but by minutes, seconds, time code, feet, frames, samples, regions, and markers. Now, with this one, it's a very, it's pretty good because I'll know exactly how much I want to do it. If I want to go by half a bar, I can, I can take it by half a bar and just nudge it just a little bit over. This helps a lot as far as like trying to match it to certain places within the beat and things like that. This is also very helpful if you have hooks. If you have hooks and there, you know, there's one hook at the very beginning of the song and you want to kind of double it to the second half without doing it over again, you could highlight it and press Apple D and duplicate it.